program has come to our school. We work with Captain Choka, who had a vision. Her vision was uh, pretty much to give back to the community. We, of course, thought it was a great idea, and she started doing some work on her end, and the partnership happened. Once that happened, you know, she was able to recruit about 15 <laughs> NPS officers that came here and work with our students. I'm in the uh, 827 Material Logistics Program. Uh, I've just been here since uh, July, entered the uh, MODO program since uh, September 2015. The MODO program itself is about empowering, motivating and inspiring students to do things to overcome their, their trials, um, to achieve some of their goals and also to dream big. They're here today at our career fair. They're talking to students about um, you know, careers in the military and just their presence here on campus is huge and that they, again, are somebody that our students can look up to. The mentoring, they work with me here in the front office and so we grab students that are highly at risk in the areas of social emotional. I think a lot of these uh, students, they're put into bad situations. They have the ability, they're smart, intelligent, um, they just need that drive, so I think it's a key component uh, for them to become successful. We have a component here at our school where students need to recover credits of classes that they failed in the past. So we have a specialized program uh, that's computer-based that oftentimes is very, very challenging for our students. So tutoring, um, they, they pretty much go into the classroom and work in partnership with the teachers and what some of our mentors do, the Moto mentors, is they're able to sit with the students and actually give some one-on-one -on -one attention and that becomes uh, crucial, especially for our seniors as we get towards graduation. I'm a senior here at Central Coast High School and I'm graduating in, in June. And so for the students, it makes a big difference. And they don't, sometimes they don't get to see it on a daily basis, but they get to see it at the end of the semester. I get mentored by a fellow Marine and I actually liked when they would do that because I find it very supportive. I think most importantly just positive connections between the mentors and the students um, and I have no doubt that as we get closer to graduation that they will be making a very tangible impact on students trajectories towards graduation and I think also just their overall development and character. If, if you had like certain problems with like certain subjects or you had homework they would help you with that first before they would get to the, men to the mentoring part because they want you to past your classes. I think this is where it is. It's, it's with these young adults ready to enter life into its stages. Very confusing time. I think it's a huge pl place where we can give back to the community, motivate them to do greater things than themselves and do good. They're staying on track for graduation and then when we actually have the actual graduation it's a very special moment because then you get to see that Moto had a big pull with them.